Vinyl Community, I'm back with another record tip video. And this really applies to anyone that really wants to listen to their records without a whole lot of static pops. Now, I get annoyed by static pops. And uh, initially when I started to get back into vinyl, I had a spin clean. And this took me a while to learn. But when I started to think about, you know, early physics classes, then it really started to hit home. And I'm going to show you uh, how this applies. So, this is a comb. It is made out of PVC. It's injected and molded. And uh, the properties of it are very similar to our vinyl records. Now, uh, vinyl, or PVC, has different phthalates, uh, different chemical additives that you know will change the color, will change the melting point, will change the specific density, the strength, and so on and so forth. Now, PVC inherently wants to grab that static charge and it's friction that promotes that charge. And here is something that I want to show you and why you should never dry rub your records with a towel. So I'm taking simple ground black pepper and I'm sprinkling it gently on this white piece of paper. Now what I'm going to do is show you an example with that comb. I'm going to comb my hair and get that charge really, really built up. Now once I build it up, I'm going to apply it over the paper and see how it picks up the pepper and makes it bounce around. Look at that. This is what we call the Trebo electric effect. Now I'm sure you want to see another example with a record, so let's go for it. So I got this record for free. It's Jackie DeShannon, and it's in a nice white paper sleeve. Um, it's never been cleaned, but uh, as I'm going to show you, it is a relatively clean record here. Uh, so now I'm going to dry wipe it. So I'm putting a nice circular motion around the record, which is what Spin Clean recommended. I'm going to go around and around, build up the charge show you the record, the side that I'm going to apply to the back black pepper. I'm putting the black pepper down, get it sprinkled gently. Now I'm going to turn the record over and look at how it just sucks up that black pepper. And this is what the record really looks like now. So, uh, you know, all the dust, that's how it collects. So you're, you're, you're saying now, okay, uh, I've just washed my record, now how do I dry it off? Well, okay, number one, use distilled water. Um, normal water uh, will have additives in it, uh, deposits, and you really want to use just pure H2O if you can. Now, I always rinse my records twice. Uh, that helps to remove any surfactant, uh, but also what I recommend again very cheap solution I got this at a Staples is a uh, letter filer and I think this cost me all of eight dollars and uh, as you can see here I mean uh, this only touches the labels and I just let my records air dry so very simple solution I recommend air drying your records uh, what kind of voodoo do you use my next video I'll be talking about record cleaning solution so I'll catch you on the next one.